Hello. Hi. And welcome. One more time. Hello, and welcome to a very... <laughs> welcome to a very special episode of Unscripted. Today we are visiting the world's... No, scratch that. <laughs> Reverse it. <laughs> the most haunted hotel in America, according to Travel and Leisure. We are at the Queen Mary today. Well, what? That's really weird. What the hell? That's really weird. Can you even do that? You can't even name it while you're going. That's so weird. Okay. What the heck? I'm going to start one too. Okay, so I just noticed right now the phone that we're recording on. It like named... So just to show the you audio. what it looks like. I can show them. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you start a recording. Oh, look. This one named itself uh -huh. Queen's Highway. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's at the top. Um, And we've been recording already for two minutes and it decided to name it. This. Juju, huh? What, 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 what here? Yeah. I'm gonna keep mine on just to see if it changes. It's not gonna change. That's so weird. That's Did really you notice if it no. had anything at, at no. first? Like, was I deleted, screen, no, I deleted all my audios. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And I just pressed record. That's so weird. Let me, just for shits and giggles, let me start this one over. New recording. New recording. Oh. See? That's weird. Okay. Well, that's weird. But I don't know what to think of that, so I'm just going to move on. <laughs> so this is going to be a very different type of styled episode, and I'm really excited for it because I have done a haunted hotel video before. Um, I stayed at the Biltmore Hotel like two or three years ago, and that was really fun and exciting and We caught some stuff some stuff happened off camera. I'm still adamant that something happened, but I Have no proof. So today the goal is to Get some solid proof and I'm here with an extreme skeptic today. What are your thoughts? about anything anything well we just got here well, so yeah. I'm, I'm not expanding i'm like <laughs> i can't talk uh i'm not expecting anything but uh i do have an open mind i do hope that we find something and okay cool, you know that's good to hear because i feel like i asked you this like i don't know two years ago and you were like it's not real or like something stupid no, like no 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 i'm not i'm sure that's not what i said <laughs> it was along those lines it was like it was just like well nothing i don't think anything's gonna happen but like i guess you always have been open-minded but like you were like yeah no, extremely I'm pretty, like i'm pretty skeptical like if something happens like a lot in the in like videos like this like people just freak out over the tiniest things and like I just know. call it a ghost and I'm just like well it could have been a draft or like some other person made a noise or something you know I know one of the things that I really dislike about some of these like haunted hotel videos is that people love to react over overreact yeah. over the tiniest things it's like oh my god the door opened well mm -hmm. that's scary but like you know there, yeah. there's there's certain things that happen and it's like that could be explainable or like or like something happens, like they ask something, like give me a sign, give me a knock, speak to me. Something happens and they're like, oh my God, like yeah. you asked for it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So it's gonna be interesting to see. So far, first impressions, we walked in. Look, I gotta tell you what, we walked into a fucking mess okay. because <laughs> we didn't we realize no that, that, Fucking! I just found out that this was a thing. Shacktoberfest. 
Shacktoberfest. It's happening right outside our window. The diesel is right outside right now. Nah, I don't know. What? Because uh, it's They Shaq. call him that? Yeah. They, oh, he didn't know. I don't know Shaq's lore. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, it's another nickname. Yeah, so, I, I mean, that's fine and all. Like, have your fun. But at mm-hmm. the same time, <laughs> it kind of really, really takes away from, like, the spooky vibes when there's a whole carnival going on outside. Kids are laughing. Yeah. Music's blasting. A little rhyme over maybe here. We could show a little. <laughs> maybe we can show a little clip that. Really yeah, I I, like I want to right there. I can open the window and. You, you know what? Why don't we just don't take a little? No, take oh. take them along. I see you guys are coming with me. So as you can see, we have um, windows that we closed up because there's literally a festival going on. Um, the lights are going. The music's going. Apparently the music is gonna get even louder at 8 p.m. and that's like 30 minutes from now as you can see there's a bouncy house hey that looks pretty sick yeah it looks like a lot of fun i'm not gonna lie but i can't even hate like i i want to be a hater right now but it looks fun <laughs> maybe we'll go there and then come back at midnight <laughs> can you shut that yeah i am I fix this. you can focus it on me I'm always focused Is it focused? <laughs> <laughs> is it focused? Yes. As funny as this whole scenario is, we're trying to make light of it. We were talking off camera about how it seems like the perfect setup for a scary movie. You know? Oh, yeah. To a couple goes into the most haunted hotel in America. Meanwhile, a festival takes place right outside. The children are laughing, the party's going on, and then meanwhile you cut to the people in here we're fucking levitating, like, getting picked off one by one, a serial killer comes, you know what I mean? Like, it's the perfect setup. So I... I can't even be mad. (laughs) I can't. But we we couldn't have picked a worse day, I think, to come. But the good news is that um, the festival ends around midnight so the music will stop and then i think that will be the perfect time to do a little bit of investigating so i'm really excited about that let me show you around while i'm up (laughs) here is our lovely bedroom uh bed what is this a king a queen Uh, the queen mary (laughs) you want to explain what that wall is there oh (laughs) i'd love to thanks for asking so we wanted to do a couple of investigative tactics here there were several things that we could have gotten like ghost hunting equipment wise but i wanted to keep it pretty simple also ghost equipment so expensive what's up with that um so this right here is a cat ball and this is used in paranormal investigations because um People will place them all around the room, all around the area they're trying to investigate. And the thing is that if this goes off, um, it means somebody touched it. So you can only turn this light on if you click this red button. So if at any point in the night this shit turns on (laughs) and none of us are near it, um, we're not alone. Another thing that we're planning on doing is, excuse me, um just audio recordings you know we also have a tape recorder is that what it's called Um, just a standard tape recorder ask questions see if we get some answers um that's pretty much it that's pretty much it right so this hotel has one of the most haunted rooms in america i don't know if the world i don't know it's called stateroom b340 and lots of shit goes down there people stay there for like over a thousand a night and that would have been fun but we don't have just a thousand to blow like that so we're staying in a regular room (laughs) (laughs) truth be told i'm gonna be upfront. i don't think this room is haunted but i think that the ship could be so i feel like if this like ship 
is haunted and has spirits i feel like the spirits can move from room to room especially for like going up and investigating like the whole ship i feel like they could follow us i don't know what i'm saying you know what i mean it's just it's a lot do you get me i know you do you always do um have the balls gone off yet any movement (laughs) Yeah, um, (laughs) I feel hopeful that we'll catch something because me personally, I feel like not, it sounds bad if I say like I attract like spirits, but like I'm, I'm sensitive to them. I've always been since I was a kid. When I was a kid, my family, like Th- th- like wanted to give like me an intervention or something because like I kept hearing like spirits like voices like calling my name I felt like I was going crazy it sounds it's literally like a movie and I would see like in my grandma's house um I would see like shadow figures and in our old house I was so terrified I finally had my own room to myself so this is this is kind of like goes to show our whole life like we grew up very poor so like we all all three of my sisters well two of my sisters i'm the third one um we all always slept together in one room in one bed finally my mom like you know worked her way up got two jobs made enough money she was renting a good sized house and i finally had my own room to myself all my sisters had their own room my room was pink it was beautiful i had like it was just it was gorgeous and it had like little canopy like um curtains that surrounded it it was so cute and one day i just like got really freaked out because i saw a shadow figure pop out i'm like getting emotional <laughs> i saw a shadow figure pop out of my room like in the hallway it freaked me the fuck out and for weeks i couldn't go in there i slept with my mom i tried eventually to like make my way back in there i don't remember if i stayed there or not if i ever saw anything else but like that shit freaked me out because like it was like a tall just like a black figure like like how people describe it and it's weird it was really weird and i know they say that kids are really like sensitive to that type of thing when they're younger um so i don't know and then you know as i got older i didn't really have many experiences but then like i said last a couple years ago when we went to the biltmore hotel is when we, let me tell you this story okay mm-hmm. if you didn't watch this it's okay it's fine <laughs> but i can no i can't because we weren't recording but uh, the we'll the one instance that i'm talking about okay. but i will yeah the good idea I'm, i'll include some clips because i did catch some unexplained audio that i i can't explain and I, andrew fucking fights me on this he was fighting me the, on this this morning and <laughs> i was telling you she was like trust me bro <laughs> because what the fuck do i have to prove like you know what i mean like why am i gonna doctor some footage or like audio okay, well, uh, to be fair, well let me they don't know let me okay. set it up like okay. we're shooting this in the dark <sighs> well what do i explain first the audio just tell us like maybe in like sequence of what, what went okay on. so when we first got there <laughs> like listen <laughs> when we first got there literally we put our bags down we set up all our stuff n- we hadn't started recording yet i was there with my two friends becca and daisy shout out, shout out love you um girlies i had this flashlight it was like a handheld flashlight it was small but it wasn't like a circular like flat um oh, it would have been cool if we had that. i know it wasn't like a circular um flashlight that would like roll if you put it on the on a flat surface it would had like rigid edges so you physically like it would not roll if it was on on the table it would not roll because it had ridges on each side it was not round it was not round so it could not move on its own unless it was moved and so i set it down we're talking and then i don't know who points out like the the flashlight's moving the flashlight's moving we all turn around i see it it's I'm getting chills. It's going for like three, four seconds. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I was like weirded out by it, but I wasn't like scared. So I reached for it and I grabbed it. And obviously it stopped because I touched it and I picked it up. And they were like, why would you touch that? And I was like, I don't know. But like, it was, <laughs> um, it was crazy. What was it on? It was on a table. It was flat. It could so not move. Like that, 
No, like a counter, like oh, a table, counter, like a so like flat, could not move. So it wasn't like something you could move? No. So basically, if you set this down, it can rock like this, right? But it usually stops. It kept rocking for like a solid like seven seconds. It was like, I don't know. It was, it was like literally, yeah. Like it wasn't even, it was like, I don't know. And like we tested it. Well, Becca tested it because I wasn't going to test it. <laughs> I kind of didn't want to know, but she tested it and it, like, see? Like, it keeps going. But when we saw it, it was rocking back and forth. And there's, like, no way that it can, it can do that. Like, I believe in this stuff, but I'm the first one to be like, okay, there's an explanation. There has to be an explanation. I'm not going to just be, like, jump to it and be like, oh, my God, it was a ghost. Like, no. Like, you got to be rational and think about it. Like, you know? And that one was unexplainable. And then we also heard audio like we were walking around the hotel and we were exploring and then nobody was talking actually was this in the beginning i don't remember when it was but nobody was talking we were just recording ourselves walking down the hallway and then you hear like whispers and like it didn't make sense it wasn't like a clear sentence so like it wasn't one of us oh that's the place I'm talking about that's the place where you can go in and sit down. Apparently, people have reported like things moving around in there. <laughs> like it, whatever. Oh my god. Oh, wait. <gasps> wait. Wait. <gasps> wait. But I saw you when you hit the bed. I think it turned on. But that that doesn't that doesn't happen. Where's the button? It's on it, the side. Yeah. Wow. No. And it wasn't. What the? No. Wait. Wait. Wait for because maybe it's that one. Maybe like maybe it's faulty, yeah. you know. We'll we'll leave both. Okay. It's going on for a long time. Yeah, it is. Babe, it's happening. <laughs> oh, okay. See, look. What the? Cause see, that's the thing. With I didn't even hit it that hard, though. Wait, no. I I mean I saw it. You think I hit it that hard? Yeah, you okay. hit it like the other one. But I don't know why this one is by movement, but this one's not. And in the beginning, none of them would would do that. That's so weird. Okay, well, th that's cool that this one moves if, like, there's movement, you know? Maybe we can put it in a spot we're not going to be around. I kind of don't like how, like, I want them all to be the same. Yeah. So this one's the one that actually moves by touch, which is how we expected them to be. See? But none of these other ones do that i can toss them yeah like what the hell like these require clicking the button and this mm -hmm. one's super sensitive okay so we'll just take this one out yeah um maybe put it in a bag then it is about to be eight o'clock right now so I think the game plan is to go grab some food, um, come back, and then get this party started. Hi everyone, we hope you're enjoying the video so far. Hello. Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled program. We just wanted to come on here and um, clarify a couple of things that we probably should have said better <laughs> while we were recording but um it was really late we had been driving all day we were so tired we were drained so much from our energy and and you can tell and so obviously that doesn't make for a good video so we thought we would step in and kind of retell the story now that we're in better spirits and you know well you are well, yeah, this guy is over here dying. He has, I think, we're, we're, we're learning to find out that he's uh, maybe suffering from a sinus headache. And he has uh, sinus issues. <sighs> it's been a journey. After that clip that you just saw of us going to have dinner, um, we ended up having dinner at the hotel. And while we were there, we overheard a lot of conversations that the hotel guests had. Um, we were at the bar because that was the only place. Are you okay? Yeah. What's going on? Are no. you in love? I love it. Okay. Um, we went to the hotel bar because the restaurant that the hotel had was not... <laughs> <laughs> While we were there, we overheard some guests talking about their experience, that they went to room B340 and the door was unlocked, so they took pictures. Um, one of the tour guides that was there with them said that 
like she was looking at the photo that they, were, that they were all passing around and she was like oh my gosh are you sure no one no one was behind you because that's like a clear apparition of somebody it looks like somebody standing behind you meanwhile we're over here eating our food we're like what's going on we want to see the pictures but we're too shy and we're in the middle of eating and it's just like i don't know but afterwards a group of them were saying that they were all going to go back to room b340 and try to investigate and see what else they could find so they left like 30 minutes later they come back and it's half of the group this time so it's two guys and the bartender <laughs> asked them like jokingly like oh what did you guys find did you guys find any ghosts whatever and then like the look on their faces was like it said it all like they looked like they had been dragged through the mud and like went through hell and back basically yeah. one of the people that was in the room with them ended up fainting i guess and when they came to they were talking about somebody named sarah apparently they had no recollection of fainting they just remember going to the room and then waking up and leaving afterwards they had no memory of fainting which is scary um but that was all we heard you know so immediately after that we paid for our food we ran up to room b340 and of course it was locked that's all that happened in that time and then uh shortly after we started investigating so that's kind of catching up to speed of what you missed but we also thought we'd pop in here to share a quick history of the Queen Mary because we neglected to do that in a fun way. So here are some quick facts about the Queen Mary and the ghosts that are said to haunt that ship. <laughs> <laughs> so in the 1930s, the RMS Queen Mary was the ultimate luxury liner. When World War II broke out, the Queen Mary was painted gray and redubbed as the Grey Ghost to ferry soldiers to the front lines. The ship has recorded 49 deaths. Today it's said that as many as 150 different spirits may still call the Queen Mary home. Some notable residents include a crew member who was crushed to death by a watertight door, a woman dressed in all white who dances by herself in the luxury suites, and several adults and children in the 1930s era whose apparitions have been spotted wandering the pool decks. Another died after drinking gin that turned out to be cleaning fluid. A rather gruesome rumor is that the crew locked its chef in his own oven one night and roasted him alive. Everyone seems to have their own story about who or what haunts state room B340. In 1948, a third class passenger named Walter J. Adamson mysteriously died there. One woman said that she was woken up when the bed covers were ripped off her in the middle of the night. She then saw a man looming over her at the end of the bed. Others heard phantom voices and complained that the faucets turned on by themselves. The ship received received so many negative reports throughout the 1970s that B340 was closed to the public for over 30 years. Guests have reported drastic temperature changes, slamming doors, knocking, screams, lights flickering, and children crying. All aboard a ship that's earned its reputation as one of the most haunted structures in America. You know, we haven't had many encounters today, but this view sure is hauntingly beautiful, am I right? Does anybody here at the Queen Mary want to speak to us? You can use this cat ball by pressing it to let us know that you're here. Or you can knock, or you can say something. Okay, take your time. Mm -mm. I don't think so. There's two cat balls here if anybody wants to come up and touch them.
You can use the power from our phones, the camera, if you need it. We applaud you. What that is? Did you move the car? Mm hmm. Oh my, that looks so scary. Did you knock? No. Yeah, I heard something. I heard a knock. It was a knock? It sounded like I a knock. I heard something. I had said to... I said uh, make a noise, I think. But uh, it's I noise. heard a knock. Is there anybody here with me? Pretty crowded in here. That thing right after you said that, that you didn't know it was you, it was like a t But it could, it could have sounded like you were like fidgeting with the, the thing. At one point, I think I yeah, moved something here and it made a noise. Mm. But I did hear what you heard. But it could have been. <gasps> right there. Oh, that's what it was. How do you go back? I said I didn't know what else to ask. I didn't know what else to ask because I don't know if, there, if I was getting an answer or not. And that's when I heard a noise. But anything, any noise after that or besides that was me moving around. That yeah. was the one noise that you can, was me. You can tell when it's you. Yeah. That clearly sounded like doo -doo. Yeah, I mean, I did say make a noise. I heard a noise, but is it paranormal? Can't tell. Because mm -hmm. there's people out here in both rooms, to the left of us, to the, to the right of us. There's people outside right now, you can probably hear it. Walking down the hall. Yeah, just outside, probably right there. So they're not almonds. Mm-hmm. Oh. likes almonds. I like almonds so. too. So do I. I guess for now we're gonna call it a night and I will check back in with you in the morning to see how we slept.
So final thoughts now that we're home and we have been able to review the footage. We left that next morning unsure of what we captured, if we got any evidence at all, if it was just a total dud, like we had no idea. While editing, I noticed you know the audio issues we had some static issues with which is something that would happen on and off throughout the the video as you saw we also caught some whispers we caught some knocking i mean what do you think because i showed you the footage <clears throat> and i wanted to like make sure i would ask you all the time once i heard something i would say was this you so what, what do you think? The main knock that happened when I was in the closet, mm -hmm. that one was something that I couldn't explain. But any other noise that, that happened while I was in there was definitely me moving around. I remember thinking to myself like, um, like, dang, I should stop moving because I'm causing a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that big knock. Yeah, and then there was that one time where we were walking on carpet and it sounded like like high heels on like hard, a hard surface. That was really weird. Yeah, I have forgotten about that one. Um, that, yeah, one, that one, I, don't know. I can't explain that one <clears throat> because that clearly sounds like, you know, it sounds yeah. like someone walking with like high heels or like something like that. And then I was, I remember like we weren't tapping anything along the way. Mm -mm. We were just walking. So that, that one was weird. And we weren't even hearing like people in those rooms mm -hmm. as we walked by there was like but also silence. those rooms are carpeted oh that's true that is true so i really can't explain that one i don't know i mean it's hard to like come on here and say a definite conclusion yeah. like is it haunted is it not haunted because we didn't get to explore the most haunted places which i would have loved to um but a lot of them were locked and so that's why a lot of that footage got cut out because we were just like walking around aimlessly the whole ship exploring which it was fun to do it was really yeah. fun but like it, it's a ship so like all the places where we went outside and we were exploring the top deck of the ship was so loud <laughs> oh yeah so and we weren't even talking like it, we were just like really enjoying ourselves walking around but um I, I can't say a definite you know the ship is haunted the ship is not haunted whatever i mean all i know is that we caught some stuff but i just hate that it's like like i, I came into this even saying i even said it when we sat down i was like i want to catch something like solid proof I, I mean, I can't say we did that definitely. Yeah, I don't think so. We can't. I can't say that. And I hate that, but it's the truth. So. Hopefully next time goes better and maybe we'll be able to revisit. Yeah. Next time, I definitely want equipment? more equipment. <laughs> I want some like better equipment. You know what I mean? Those cat balls, they weren't cutting it. But then again, we also didn't get to use them much because those places were closed. We only use it in that one mm -hmm. place where we took those pictures at. True. So that's going to be all from us today. We hope that you're enjoying your Halloween. Thank you for spending it with us if you made it this far. We hope that you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye.